guys, it's Latoya, and today I'm so excited to be making another video for you guys. Today, the video I'm going to be making, if you can tell from the title below, is a general update plus a hair update. So as for the general update, um, I'm going to be filming, I'm trying to film a lot of videos today, like hopefully a closet tour which was requested by one of my subscribers, so just know that I didn't forget and that I, um, just in the process of getting that up and hopefully a dorm tour and I also will be filming um, a tag today so yeah so right now it is final time in college so I have a lot of stuff going on but I'm still trying to like pre-film videos so I can get them up for you guys to put them up during finals week so yeah that's what's been going on with me okay so as for my hair update the last relaxer I got was November 29th, I think. Yeah, November 29th, and it might be my last relaxer, actually. I am really thinking about going natural, because the last time um, that I had my stretch, the last time I got my relaxer before November 29th was August 6th, I think. And so I had like a long stretch and I was beginning to see, um, you know, like my new growth and my curl pattern, which I didn't remember it looking like that before I got relaxers. Even though when I started getting relaxers, I was like in middle school, so I don't really remember what my natural hair looks like. But I didn't think it looked like what I saw growing out of my head. So, yeah, I decided that I wanted to try and go natural and see what my um, natural hair curl pattern is. So yeah, I might be doing that. Um, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm definitely not gonna do the big chop or anything like that. I'm just going to transition and let my hair grow out and then cut my ends like as time goes on. So I definitely will be taking you guys along on that journey and be giving monthly updates on where my hair is and different transitioning styles that I've been doing and products that I've been using and like research that I've been doing because I don't really know anything about natural hair really because I've been relaxed for so long. But for you relaxed girls out there that have been watching my videos and now you're like, oh great, now she's another one that's going natural and now I, you know, can't really get anything from her videos anymore because she's going to have natural hair and not relaxed hair, which isn't true because I feel like I treat my relaxed hair the way a lot of naturals treat their hair anyway, so I'm not really expecting my regimen to really change. Like, maybe, like, the products will change, but I think, like, my actual regimen of washing and conditioning and things like that will not change. So, yeah, the main focus of, you know, these hair journeys is to have healthy hair in general, so I hope that for you relaxed girls out there, you'll still be able to um, get something out of my videos. Even though my hair might be a different texture, I'm still going to be, you know, pursuing healthy hair. So yeah, now I'm just going to show you guys um, a picture of the length of my hair August 6th when I got my hair relaxed. And then um, the length of my hair, November, well it wasn't exactly November 29th, but like the week after before I washed my hair. I'm going to show you the length of it so you guys can compare and see how much my hair has grown. So yeah, I'm going to show that here. And then I'm going to show you guys a picture of um, my hair, when was it? I think it was the first wash air dried here.
Honestly, yeah, that's the state of my hair right now. Like I said, I'm going to see where this transitioning journey takes me. Um, I definitely am not going to do the big chop number one because I don't want to, you know, go in reverse. I've already spent 19 years of my life trying to get my hair at this length. I finally figured out how my hair will grow and what to use for my hair, so I'm definitely not going to cut off all of my progress, even though it's relaxed hair. I feel like my hair is pretty much, you know, for the most part, except for my very ends, but like, my hair is as healthy as relaxed hair could be, or like pretty healthy at least. Um, so I'm definitely not going to cut off all that progress, I'm just going to have a long transition. And I don't anticipate, well, it probably will get harder as time goes on, but the beginning months I don't anticipate that being too difficult for me, um, the transitioning, because it's kind of like how when I stretch my relaxers, I wear a lot of breakouts and stuff, so I'll definitely be doing that in the beginning of my transition, and then, you know, after the first few months pass, um, we'll see what happens. Um, and another reason why I don't want to do the big chop is because, you know, when you do that, there's no turning back. And if I am, you know, going through the transition process and then I change my mind because I'm a very indecisive person, then I can just relax my hair again and I will have retained and gained length from stretching, you know. It'll just be a stretch and not a transition. So I want to do a long transition just so I have options and, yeah, I don't want to, like, reverse my progress of growth. So I hope that you'll come along with me on this transitioning journey and, you know, just see how it goes for me and how long it takes. I'm not really, I'm guessing it maybe it'll take, like, a couple of years to totally, like, grow out to this length. I don't know. But we'll see, and hopefully you guys will come along with me for the journey, and I will definitely keep you updated. So, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!